Uh, doesn't that look yummy? Restaurant week is in full swing, and we want to give you a taste. Chef Robert Carr from La Cantera Resort and Spa is here with a recipe you can try, and it is at Primero Cantina, yeah, right, for Restaurant good, Week. Yes, yes, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Yeah, so Restaurant Week, you know, we always get excited with Restaurant Week. It's a, it's a huge event for us. Uh, it gives us time to really show off and do some different things that we want to roll out for our guests. And folks love it because they can try so many different and unique the, dishes, yeah, right? And especially with our hotel, we have many restaurants to, to choose from, to try different things. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome event. Okay, so today we are making... So today, this is one of our dishes. Mm -hmm. This is a soft shell crab taco. Okay. You know, in Primero Cantina, you know, we have a lot of uh, Mexican-inspired dishes with a little twist, our own kind of twist on stuff. Soft shell crab is, you know, an awesome, awesome uh, dish to have. Uh, you know, they have a lot of Japanese restaurants. Mm -hmm. So we just took the same soft shell crab and kind of made our own style of taco for it. Okay. So then we have some seasoned flour here uh -huh. in the soft shell crab. And this is a great recipe, too, that you can actually do uh, dr uh, shrimp, grilled shrimp. In the, so you if know, you didn't want to use crab, you can just substitute. You could, do, you could use shrimp in there. Shrimp would be really nice to use, especially when it's going to warm up eventually, mm -hmm. you know, and they get back to grill, get back to grill in season. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned some seasoned flour. What, what else? So in have? this flour, we have a little salt, some uh, garlic, and there's a, a little bit of ancho chili okay. and chipotle chili powder in there. So it has a little bite to it, you know, to keep with that, that theme. Okay, so you uh, threw some oil in the pan. That's yeah, just a little a oil. Little bit, right? You want to make sure your skillet's nice and hot. Mm -hmm. And you're just trying to brown a little bit. They cook very quick. Mm -hmm. And the thing with cooking uh, crab or any, any seafood, you don't want to overcook it. Cook it. it. And it's so yeah. easy to do because it, it can is, happen so fast, right? It is super right? easy to overcook. Yeah. So you want to keep an eye on it, basically. Yeah, Make sure exactly. they don't wander off. <laughs> yeah, and you, know, and, and you always want when you're cooking, especially sautéing something, you want to use a hot skillet. Because mm -hmm. if it's not hot, you put it in there and it just kind of steams. Right. And you want, you want to be nice and crisp on the outside and really get that good sear on the meat. So you're going to need that heat right out you, of the gate. You're going to need that. Okay. Yeah, so as that's cooking, we need to see. Is, the, so those tacos are one of the dishes that are on the lunch menu, right? Yeah, at this is one on the lunch week. menu, yeah. And this one right here is another one. Yeah, that's our chicken manis. It's on the Samita, burger, uh, Samita bun, uh -huh. yeah, the uh, Mexican-style bun. And what other dishes will be and on the so, menu? And so it's our lunch, and then we have a, for dessert for lunch, we have a uh, funnel cake that's... Out of, it's awesome with the uh, goat's milk caramel, uh -huh. goat's milk caramel and some pecans. Woo! And then for dinner, for dinner in Primero, we're featuring a uh, El Pastor lamb shank, braised lamb shank, which is awesome. Oh. And then a uh, roasted chicken adobo style. <laughs> okay, yeah. so we've got yeah, so these ingredients here. What are we going to do? So this is our slaw we're going to make okay. for, our, uh, for our crab dish. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's a little bit of cabbage, mm -hmm. apples. Mm -hmm. Apples add a nice crunch and uh, the good sweetness to the dish. And they're in season right now. And then we add a little chopped peanuts. Okay. And a little chopped peanuts to there. Uh, okay. I like I like them. And there, it makes a good little crunch to it. Okay. A little bit of green onion and some cilantro. A little bit of green onion. Just about. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. Okay. And, and some, then some cilantro. And then we have this is our dressing we made. This is a base of sweet and sour, but it's made with uh, tomatillos and tamarind. The tamarind gives you all the sweet and sour taste and a little bit of sesame in there. Let's add a little of that. Okay. If you want to mix that up. Okay. There we go. Spoon, we go. just mix that up. Okay. And I'll this check will be the our slaw. crab. Yeah. It's our slaw. It goes really good with the, the crab. Okay. And could you add a little more sauce or... You can. If, yeah, if you we, wanted to? Yeah, we okay. could add more. We can actually yeah, drizzle it over the top. Okay. And all right. We have we'll our, put those down. our corn tortillas here. We get we our corn tortillas locally made, and they're, they're the best tortillas in town, I think. All right. And then do I put... Yeah, we're going to put our first. crab on first, so okay. let's see if our crab should be ready. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, you're getting that ready. I'm going to go ahead and let folks know that Culinaria Week is happening today through January 27th for a list of participating restaurants. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We'll be right back with more. There we go. Mm hmm That is on the menu at Primero Cantina for restaurant week. How was it? Soft oh, shell um, crab. Well, mm hmm Soft shell crab is good.